Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about the number one reason why people stop using Midjourney before they even get started. That reason, Discord. Many find the signup process and Discord's user interface to be unintuitive and overwhelming. At the moment, if you want to make Midjourney images, you have to go through Discord. Luckily, Midjourney access won't always be exclusive to Discord. Soon you will be able to prompt directly from Midjourney's website and eventually they will have a mobile app. Please do not be duped by other websites and apps claiming to use the Midjourney algorithm. At the time of recording this, the only way to use Midjourney is through the Discord application. But again, very soon you will be able to prompt directly from Midjourney's website. Future web and mobile availability for Midjourney will be announced through official channels. So my goal for this video is to lower the barrier for accessibility, making it easier for beginners to start using Midjourney in Discord. So let's get started and hopefully you'll be making beautiful images with Midjourney in no time. First, we need to create a Discord account. If you already have one, feel free to skip to the next section. So Discord is a social and communications platform where you can talk, text, and video. Discord is free to join. Just go to discord.com, click login, and then register, and fill out the required fields to create your account. Then check your email for a message that says verify email address for Discord and click the link in there to complete your sign up. Then you can log into Discord through their mobile app, desktop app, or their website. I primarily use the desktop app on Windows, so that's what you'll be seeing throughout this video. Now we are ready to join the Midjourney Discord server. To do that, go to Midjourney's website and click join the beta down in the lower right. If you are already logged into Discord, clicking that link will take you directly to the Midjourney server in Discord. If you are not logged into Discord, you will be prompted to put your login information in. If clicking join the beta didn't take you anywhere, you can manually join the server by clicking this plus sign in Discord, then join server and type in this link. Okay, so we are in the Midjourney server, but we can't actually create any images yet. Without having a Midjourney subscription, you have limited access to the community and will not be able to create images. To view Midjourney subscription options, you can click one of the newbie channels on the left here and type forward slash subscribe and then enter. Then click the unique link provided to review subscription plans. Or go to the Midjourney homepage and sign in using your Discord account. As soon as you sign in, you'll see the subscription plans. Midjourney has four subscription tiers, which you can pay for monthly or annually. If you are just starting with Midjourney, you might try the basic plan first and then upgrade to the standard plan later. If you are using Midjourney for business purposes, you may consider the pro or mega plan, which give you access to stealth mode. With stealth mode enabled, your images will not be visible to others on the Midjourney website. Each plan gives you a certain amount of time on the computers that process your prompts. This is measured in GPU time. The more time you have, the more images you can create. This GPU time only matters if you are creating images in fast mode. Fast mode is ideal for users who want to generate images quickly. If you have a subscription plan that also has relaxed mode, you can submit as many image creation jobs as you want without using your fast hours. You may have noticed that the basic plan does not have access to relaxed mode. So if you have the basic plan and your fast hours run out, you cannot create more images until your monthly subscription renews, unless you upgrade your plan, purchase more fast hours, or participate in image ranking on Midjourney's website for a chance to earn one fast hour per day. Okay, with a paid Midjourney subscription acquired, we'll go back to Discord and cover some Midjourney server basics. So what is all this stuff? The Midjourney server is a community space with different channels that are used for announcements, discussion, support, and image creation. Clicking on events shows you all of the upcoming Midjourney events. Community engagement is important to Midjourney, and if I had to recommend one event to attend, it would be the weekly office hours. You can click interested on any of these events to receive a Discord notification when the event starts. Announcements is where you will find information about official Midjourney updates and changes. You can check the status channel if you start getting errors or severe lag. You can also just go to status.midjourney.com. Most support issues can be submitted in one of the support channels. There are channels for providing feedback and for having discussions with other Midjourney users. The community forums are also a valuable resource for learning how to craft your prompts. You can create your images in any of the newcomer channels, themed generation channels, and general channels. If you want to share images that you've created with the Midjourney Discord community, you can do this in one of the showcase channels. 
There's also a search bar up here, which you can use to search the whole Midjourney server for any topic. And lastly, to access your direct messages, just click the little robot in the upper left. To get back to the Midjourney server, click the Midjourney sailboat. So that's a brief orientation of the Midjourney server. Next, we'll go through some basic commands. There are four commands that I think every beginner Midjourney user should know. You can type these commands into the message input field of any image creation channel. A command starts with a forward slash. As soon as you type a forward slash, a list of the available commands will pop up. The first command is slash imagine, and this is the one that you will use most frequently because this is the command that you will use to create images. Type slash imagine, your prompt, and press enter. Once your imagine job is completed, you'll see a grid of images. I won't be going into specifics of prompting in this video. You'll find that in some of my previous videos and in future videos. The second command is slash info. Type slash info and then press enter and you'll see your user stats, such as how many fast hours you have left, the number of jobs that you've submitted and your job queue. The third command is slash settings. Slash settings will show you the default settings that are used for your Imagine prompts. I'll save the details for another video, but what you are seeing here is my most common setup. You can change these by clicking and you can even change the default Midjourney model that is used for your prompts. Slash settings is also one way that you can switch between fast mode and relaxed mode. The other way is to type slash relax to switch to relaxed mode or slash fast to switch to fast mode. And a couple of bonus commands, you can type slash subscribe, which we covered earlier, to manage your subscription, and type slash help for more info on getting started. Now that we've covered some basic commands, I wanna share three different methods that you can use for submitting your Imagine jobs, and each of them comes with pros and cons. The first method is to submit your Imagine jobs through the Midjourney server in any of the image generation channels. These are shared channels. I can see what other Midjourney users are creating, and when I submit an Imagine prompt, they can see what I'm creating. I think a benefit of working in a shared channel is that it can spark creativity and facilitate the exchange of ideas. However, one drawback of working in a shared channel is that when multiple users are creating images simultaneously, it can be difficult to keep track of your own images. You may end up doing a lot of scrolling to find your images. One alternative is to direct message the Midjourney bot. First, if you don't see a bunch of usernames on the right, click the show member list button. Then to initiate a direct message with the Midjourney bot, right click the bot and select message. Then submit your Imagine prompt and the results will show up in your direct messages instead of getting lost in one of the shared channels. The third method for submitting your Imagine jobs is to create your own Discord server and invite the Midjourney bot to your server. With your own server, you can create channels to organize your prompting in any way that works for you. You can also invite friends to your server and work on projects together. Anyone that you invite to your server that has an active Midjourney subscription will be able to use the Midjourney commands in your server. To create a Discord server, click the plus on the left and then select create my own. And then give your server a name. To add the Midjourney bot to your server, go back to the Midjourney server, right click on the Midjourney bot and click profile. Then click add app. Select your server name from the dropdown and click continue, then click authorize. Now, when you go back to your new server, you'll see the Midjourney bot has been added. And that's it. Now you can create all the channels you want and make Midjourney images on your own Discord server. The last thing that I wanna cover is where to find and download your images. When you log into Midjourney's website, you'll see the explore page, which showcases recently created Midjourney images. If you have stealth mode enabled, which is available on the pro and mega subscriptions, your images are not visible to others and will not show up here. To see your image gallery, click my images. You can filter, view, search, and download your images here. Midjourney's website is actively being developed, so yours might look a little bit different from what I'm showing here. I also wanna give a quick mention to rating images. So if you do run out of fast hours, you can come to this page to rate pairs of images. And then if you are in the top 2000 rankers for that day, you'll earn one free fast GPU hour. Hopefully getting set up with Midjourney and Discord is a little less intimidating now. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more AI image and video tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.